Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cowslip's Ear. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. We are using curriculum from Christian Light Education, teaching Language Arts 8, Book 1. Language Arts 8, Lesson 1. Today we're talking about verbs, but before we begin talking about verbs, I want to review you on the four sentence types. What sentence type makes a statement? Declarative, good. And an interrogative asks a question, exclamatory makes an exclamation, and an imperative makes a statement. It is imperative that you do something. That means this is a command. Remember with the imperative sentences that they never ever have the subject in the sentence. So if I say, John, go wash the windows, that's a statement. But if I say, go wash the windows, that's an imperative sentence because I didn't put the John in there. So if you put a subject in a sentence, the sentence is no longer imperative. So imperative sentences are always missing the subject. Okay, uh, verbs today. Verbs are words that show action or being. They're one of the eight parts of speech. Uh, verbs are words of action or being. Um, there's several ways we can show action. We can show action by doing something. I kicked the ball. Or we could show action by actually just thinking, mental action. I thought about God. That would be good enough. I thought, just plain thinking. Um, so action can be actual physical action or mental action. And then being means that something just exists. The chalk is in my hand. I am in the front of the room, I'm just plain existing. And the being verbs are, and you should be able to say these just on the tip of your tongue. Amazon was where vegan being. You should be able to say them that quickly. You should memorize what are the being verbs and be able to say them very quickly. Um, now, beyond being verbs and other verbs, the being verbs would be included in this, is what we call the helping verbs. And I don't want to, I guess we'll put them under the being verbs, but it actually should be over, over the being verbs because being verbs are also helping verbs. The helping verbs are any verbs that go along with other verbs to help them be complete. Uh, I walked to school. Now, suppose you want to um, you want to emphasize it, or you want to say that it happened in the past. In the past, I have walked to school. So in the past, I have walked. And here, the verb walked gets a helper verb have, just to say, just to show us that this happened in the past. So the helping verbs are being verbs are part of the helping verbs. He is walking to school, that would be using is. I am walking, that's with am, is. We are walking, that's with are. Am is our words, was, were, be, been, being. But the helping verbs go more than that, and they are have, has, had, do, does, did, may, might, must, can, could, shall, should, will, would. So if you're good, you'll get them all memorized. Am is our words, were, be, what? Am is our words, were, be, been, being, have, has, had, do, does, did, might, might, must, can, could, shall, should, will, would. You can memorize them all and say them very quickly. Okay, I think that's, that's it for the new part of the lesson. Let's go talk about the spelling words a little bit. And I'm just going to read them aloud to you. You follow along in your book because when I give you the test, I want you to know what word I'm saying. It will not be the first time you heard this word. First of all, aborigine, versatile, phenomenon, enthusiastic, fanatic, vestige, chaperone, coincide. Curiosity, grandeur, chagrin, tangible, exquisite, parentheses, impromptu, caricature, dilapidated, persuade, lieutenant, cordial. So some of those are interesting, like chaperone, it's a silent or it's a soft sh instead of a ch, and chagrin, the same way. Phenomenon, using PH to write the F sound. Um, be ready for those. Okay, I think that's all we have. Carry on, carry on with your work.